Minecraft Morning. It's me, Crane Bramp, the Minecraft admin and owner of the Mindsteria minigame network. Back for another plugin review slash plugin setup tutorial. If you like plugin setup tutorials and other technical Minecraft information, just click the subscribe link down below and get your weekly, sometimes more, dose of Minecraft in goodness. I also do some other various types of videos such as gameplay, but admin tutorials are definitely one of my favorites and that's what we're going to be doing here today. If you have a specific plugin that you would like me to review or show you how to set up or just an idea for a technical video, then go on and put it in the comments below and if I pick your suggestion, I'll give you a shout out in the video. And if you're running a server yourself, I'll be happy to show the link to your server in that video. So today we're going to be talking about uh, a plugin that was released uh, just right in March. Uh, it's called Greystones. Uh, it's currently at version 2.9. It is available for 1.8 and 1.9. It is uh, written by Cohen. Um, and basically what this is, is this is a take on a death chest uh, uh, plugin uh, where if you die, the items that you have are stored at the location where you die uh, and you return there to retrieve them. This helps with a number of things. Uh, it can help with uh, players losing stuff in lava. It can help with uh, lag on your server because of a bunch of stuff on the ground. Uh, players get mad when they lose stuff in lava, they get mad when plugins like ClearLag uh, come along and pick up stuff on the ground and they lose their stuff, or just to other players. Um, so what happens is when you die, a grave spawns where you're at, and then you go to the grave, uh, you collect your items. It is configurable how long the grave stays there. Uh, you can lock it to the player or allow anyone to get it. And there's also a neat little chance that a uh, zombie could appear, appear with configurable health um, for the player to have to fight. Uh, and there's a chance for that. Uh, so you could either set it at zero, you could set it at 100 where they always spawn, or you could set it to anything in between. Um, so we are on my uh, my test development server down in the uh, VMware cloud in my basement as usual. Uh, installation of the plugin is very simple. You download it, drag it into your plugin uh, folder. When you restart or start your server, uh, it will create a directory called Gravestones. Um, and inside there are a couple schematics and your config file. Now to talk about the schematics real, really quick, um, when the Gravestones are placed, this plugin actually pulls this schematic and places uh, the schematic for the gravestone. The neat thing is, is you can create your own gravestone to look however you want it. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that, uh, and uh, let's take a look at the config really quick. Uh, the config is short, sweet, and simple, just the way I like it. Um, we have auto update, which is uh, default to true. Uh, we have the expire time, the time before a grave expires in seconds. The default is 300 seconds, which is five minutes. You can set that to anything that you want. Uh, the name of the inventory of the grave, uh, for example, this one is just uh, the player placeholder uh, grave. Uh, note that since this is done in single uh, quotes or apostrophes, whatever you want to call them, uh, if you're going to put an apostrophe in there, you have to escape it with another one. So you have to put two of them. Um, show a hologram with some text above the grave, that can be true or false. The layout of the hologram above the grave, you can have multi-lines. Um, you can also use uh, player uh, color codes. Um, we have if true, you can uh, only open your own grave. Uh, so locked player, by default it's false. You could set that to true if you don't want people claiming stuff. You have a world blacklist so that you have a, if you have a world with, let's say, a PvP world or something like that, then um, you can make it to where uh, the graves do not spawn in that particular world. Uh, automatically destroy the grave when it's empty, true or false. It's set to true by default. I would recommend leaving it that. Uh, if you've got a busy server, you're going to have graves all over the place unless people take the time to destroy them. Um, so uh, send the player a message with the coordinates of his death, true or false. Here is the message that they get if it is true. Have a chance for a zombie to spawn when you open your grave, true or false. The chance for that zombie. Uh, the name of that zombie, and also its health. Uh, remember that uh, the, uh, the health uh, is divided in half for the number of hearts. So in this example, with 20 zombie health, uh, you have 10 hearts. Uh, you could make this 50 or whatever you want it to. And then bypass anti-grief plugins, uh, true or false. So um, I already have the, uh, the server spun up. And uh, let's go take a look at how this works. 
Um, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to make sure that I'm at spawn. I'm going to make sure that I can fly. And we are going to fly just right over here. I'm going to make sure that we're up a ways, find a good flat piece, and uh, make sure that we're in survival. And then, uh, man, I hate it when I fall and die like that. It just, I, I wish I could, like, have a death chest or something like that where my items were. Oh, you know what? I do. I've got the Greystones plug in. Anyway, um, so uh, here it is. You can see as I'm walking up to it. Uh, that the hologram exists. Uh, one other thing that I want to point out here is this plugin does not have any dependencies. Um, even though it's showing a hologram, you do not need holographic displays or the holograms plugin or an API plugin or anything like that to go with this. This is a standalone plugin. Um, you can see that uh, the guy has uh, has designed a nice little grave with some uh, with some flowers and uh, other things on it. The uh, uh, you right click the grave uh, it's going to show this is that title of the grave so this is Crane Brand's grave um, need to keep it kind of short because this is the uh, the inventory bar uh, and then you get your stuff and when you get out of it the grave disappears okay so that's uh, that's pretty much that now remember that I said that you can create your own schematics for graves uh, to do this you're going to need world edit installed uh, this is a normal thing that I install on my server, so uh, let's go into creative really quick. Uh, fly over here and find us a nice flat piece of ground, and I am going to build a, uh, a dorky cross. Uh, hey, hey, don't judge, don't judge. Um, for uh, a grave. Now, I do want to make a really quick point here is that whatever uh, schematic that you create, uh, the plugin is going to bury it by one block. So if you want the grave to actually have a step up, like I do on this one, then you're going to have to make it two blocks. It also needs to have a sign. Now, not a sign stuck to a block. It's not going to work like that. It must be a freestanding sign. And wherever you put it, this is where your hologram is going to appear. Uh, and each line needs to have double uh, quotes on it. Uh, and we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, just to show you that this is configurable, let's knock the center out of that and get us a diamond block. And uh, we'll stick that in there. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get my wooden X axe out for world edit. If you don't know anything about how to do that, you just uh, do slash slash wand. It gives you a wooden axe, which is your selector tool. You click to uh, set your first position. Uh, you right click to set your second position, but since uh, this needs to be a cuboid, since this needs to be a square or a rectangle, basically a cuboid, and there's nothing up there, I'm just going to use the slash slash pause command, which is position two. Then we're going to copy those blocks to our clipboard. That's really important. Then we're going to use uh, a command called skim, which is schematic, save. You're going to have to have a format, which is always MC edit, and we're just going to call it gravestone. The gravestone is saved. Um, so let's run back to the server real quick. We are going to stop the server, uh, if I can actually click it. Uh, and then we're going to go look at our world edit directory in the schematics folder, and we're going to pull this gravestone schematic out. We're going to go into Gravestones. I'm going to rename this one to Gravestone Old, just in case the new one doesn't work. Uh, paste this in, Gravestone Schematic. Then we are going to start the server back up. Well, I just can't seem to click on buttons today. And now, when I die, it's going to use that dorky little cross that I made uh, as my gravestone. Uh, so you see the possibilities here um, that you could have, because you can make the graves the, the plugin becomes infinitely customizable. Uh, so I'm going to go back to spawn. Uh, we're going to fly and find us some uh, flat territory. Now, now I do want to point out that I keep saying flat ter territory. If I die on the edge of a, of a drop off here like, like this, uh, then your gravestone is going to hang off. That's just the way it goes. I mean, uh, you know, the guy can't uh, uh, look for um, 
uh, flat territory around it. Uh, it's just how it goes. But you don't have to worry about them. You know, if you have a have it set to disappear, then they go away. So, uh, so we're going to go back to survival, and we're going to turn our fly off, uh, and we're going to die really quick. We're going to respawn. Um, and also, I don't know uh, if I pointed it out, but there is the uh, the notification after you die right here. You died a grave has been placed at. Uh, so let's just do a back command and take a look, and there is my cross grave. Notice that this was two blocks when I made the schematic, but it does bury it by one block. Uh, if you don't believe me, I'll go into green mode one, and we'll go on and destroy a block. You can see that it's created it. Okay, so I right click. We're going to get all this stuff back into my inventory, and it disappears. So that, gentlemen and ladies, is the Gravestone plugin by Cohen. Uh, I really like it. It's a nice take on the death chest theme, um, and I think it would be a great addition to anybody's survival server if you're looking for a plugin along those lines. You have a great Minecraft day. Remember to support the plugin developers. A lot of them do this for free. This is a free plugin, um, and they really work hard to make sure that we have the plugins uh, to run our servers.